Hey, how's it going everyone? Um, yeah, just a little quick tip here. Uh, something I learned recently, which is kind of crazy because I've been charging for a long time and I can't believe I haven't done this. Maybe I have and forgot about it, but I doubt it. I don't know. But the point is that these chargers, I don't know if, I mean, yeah, okay, they're old and whatever, but they work, they work fine, they work great. Um, for what they are they come in all different flavors and varieties but a lot of them um, will actually over time or even from the factory will be out of calibration so um, you need to calibrate them every now and then just to make sure they're accurate um, you know all that unfortunately you're gonna need a multimeter to do this like a fairly accurate multimeter I have like some fancy fluke meters that I'm going to use to do this I'm going to just test it on all three of them the one was calibrated I don't know a couple years ago and I need to get it recalibrated but I'm pretty sure it's pretty accurate but um, you're going to need a multimeter you're going to need some way to talk to um, not talk to but some way basically what you have to do is connect a battery or some kind of power source to the charger and what I have here is just a, it's like a, um, I don't know, I can't think of what that's called right now. But it's basically two XT60 connectors with a Dean's connector. I mean, I just use it as an adapter, but it also works as, um, you can take your test leads from your multimeter and put them on there. And you don't have to disconnect the battery, that way you can get the best possible connection. But um, anyway, I'll show you how you do it and it'll make a little bit more sense. I mean, this is what you normally see on the screen when you turn it on. Um, here, I'll just go through that. SkyRC, that's the brand of this one. And uh, yeah, it goes to the LiPo charge or whatever you used last to charge. But um, in order to calibrate it, what you're going to want to do is um, you can do it without the battery I think you can do it with the battery attached but it's probably to start it without the battery so no battery attached um, you're gonna when you're plugging it in you'll hold down start and the DEC button um, start and DEC it's uh, the second button and the fourth button if you're coming this way um, see this button here and this button here start and des DEC decremental just, I don't even know what whatever it is hold this one and this one together just hold them down you'll hear them click and then uh, plug her in let it give it a minute I think it's like five seconds or something actually and then okay you're gonna come to this screen I don't know if you can see that but it has a blinking zero zero and then it has whatever the voltage is this is starting to go down to because there's nothing plugged into it right now but we're gonna plug in just any lipo or whatever you have um, plug it in it doesn't actually matter well plug your whatever you'll need some way to, to touch the wires so we're gonna plug it our in our little jumper here and then I have my multimeter here and fancy fancy little alligator clips here I don't know if I can get them on here that's shorten this thing out um all right positive and then oh wait I'm doing it totally wrong I'm looking at the red on this it, should, it shouldn't have red on there <laughs> I gotta paint that black all right put that on there and then you'll see your your uh, multimeter will get a voltage 14.59 and that should be the, the true voltage that you want to do set the uh, the thing to let me move this out of the way so you can see it without shorting out the thing and okay my multimeter says 14.56 I mean my um, lipo charger says 14.56 and this says 14.59 I'm 
that's a, a pretty pretty substantial in terms of lipo batteries and stuff so i'm gonna just test it with i have another multimeter here as a second guess and we're getting four fourteen point five eight on that one so all right so what you're gonna do and the blinking number is actually adding to this number it'll either add if you go one way or it'll subtract if you go the other way so look at your number you're gonna want to get that up to 14.58 is what we're gonna coming up with so start moving up slowly until okay see it's at 14.58 there and that's see that added five increments to your to the voltage that was in it what well, it's cal either way it's calibrating it and right now you hold down start once you got it calibrated to what you want so it says voltage 14.58 that's what our multimeter over here it's actually saying 14.59 so i'm going to go up just a little bit okay see we got it on our thing there 14.59 and then we hit start and it'll say save and it'll either ask you to save or it'll just go through and save and it'll reboot and then you can go back in and double check that so we're gonna hold down start and desk plug her in oh I didn't do it right this time hold on <laughs> you didn't see that Okay, holding for five seconds. There we go. And look, it goes right back up there. 14.59, which is what our multimeter is reading here. And we're going to hit save or start in, to save it. And there you go. It is calibrated and ready to serve you for another... I mean, I tested it every month, I guess. Maybe every week, depending on how... Um, you know how you how you feel about that but i mean yeah these chargers get a bad rap for being cheap chinese whatever but they they've served me for many years and um i can put the multimeter on them if they're calibrated right you can put the multimeter on them and they they, they read the batteries read true when they're charged i mean just keep an eye on them and uh they're they're good chargers for what they are but uh that's how you calibrate it and anyway thanks for watching bye